Yeah. Um, so the blind spot, it's not necessarily because it has to do anything with my vision status. It's mainly because of the simple fact that there are certain things going on in the world that, you know, we don't know. But know the things that you don't know, the things that you are blind to. younger I always used to think that computers uh, could do a lot in, mm -hmm. in theory they can but mm -hmm. see the earliest stage of computers were um, they weren't in the fancy way they are now in terms of the UI you have the desktop and all that stuff that you can interact with by clicking the mm -hmm. mouse or by uh, pressing a button on the keyboard no back in the days of early computing like in the 1990s and 1980s to even as far back as the 1970s uh, computers you would be typing on the command line which is typing in certain commands to activate certain tasks so if you wanted to load something you wouldn't be you know going to the desktop as normal and pressing the mouse instead you would be typing uh load slash slash and trying to find where so which kind of are you confusing me already we cannot so you have to understand a language one code yes you do and what um, do you know about that like what kind of code they use uh in each computer, it's uh -huh. very, very different. Um, for certain computers, like the Commodore 64, uh, which was American computer back in the 1980s, uh -huh. uh, it was very, very different. Unlike nowadays, uh, there are some computers that still use the command line, like a computer called Linux, or an operating system called Linux. Uh -huh. It uses the command line instead of using the standard UI elements for navigating. A computer is simply just doing this over and over and over, although you may not know it. It's it's fetching the instructions, it's decoding, the, uh, it's decoding these instructions that it wants to get, and then it's executing these instructions. And it's doing these three simple things over and over and over. It's just fetch, decode, execute. Okay, Juan, I wanted to ask you something from a long time ago, and now that I'm talking computers with you, I want to ask you. When I first met you, at St. John's College as a first form student. You know what I remember? That you were in the office on your laptop playing a video game. <laughs> I want to say it was called Mortal Kombat. I think it was that. Yes, it was. And the student that you were playing against was saying, Sir, this young boy blind, I need to beat me up. I need to say the thing, I need to beat me. And I'm like, no, what do you mean he need to beat you? So how, how, how did that work? How do you play a video game? Um, so this actually stems from a long story. So uh -huh. to actually make this a little bit more shorter, what happened <laughs> was that when I was younger, I uh -huh. I couldn't play video games. I tried to play Super Mario. Sure, I got like one level down, then the others I you know fell in the pit and died. <laughs> it didn't make any noise. Correct. Um, <laughs> but aside from that, uh, when I was older and I went to my cousin's house, I got handle on a PS2, uh, and I heard. Uh, I heard some voice saying Scorpion wins and after that I just um, I fell in love with it I didn't know what it was but all I ever heard at the end was get over here and after that I really just I really just had to have a handle on it my cousin taught me how to use the controller and I got on the PS2 yes yes stop <laughs> Sorry, because you're making, you're inspiring me as well as you're confusing me. You say you get a handle of it. You hear these things. He's he's instructing you. He's teaching you. And what are you learning? And how are you learning it? I am learning the um, the systems of the game, as okay. in how the fighting mechanics move, what uh -huh. the sounds are. All right. So based on song. Yeah. So it's all this. You are now judging all the. It moves based on song. Yep. And how did you pick that up? Uh, I picked it up when, since the age of the PS2. Um, <laughs> from the earlier days of like the old Nintendo console, remember like the Super Mario. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of these old sound cards couldn't produce a lot of sound. Okay, so the more complex so the, the song, the better you could figure is. out. Not saying that it can't, you know, be simple. You know, like um, I don't know if you know what Atari is, but uh -huh. it's like yes. it's, it's an old computer of the nineties. Correct. But you can still play a lot of games even if you're blind. Maybe like Space Invaders, you know, where you would like, move left and right and shoot yeah. the aliens. Um, that's relatively simple. And All right, Juan, well, again, excuse my ignorance. <laughs> you're saying move left and right and shoot the aliens, but you're not seeing 
the movement. So how do you how do you win? Um, so a lot of it stems from like if you're talking the age of the old Atari. Correct. A lot of it stems from simple guessing. Ah. Um, it's it's a hard skill to develop, but once you actually learn, anticipate. Yeah, you actually know where the and see the thing is. Uh, with the old Atari, it wasn't like the age where you have now, where you have where you have sounds coming from here and sounds coming from here, and you ah. and you could pay attention because each sound was coming from each individual ear. No, back in those days, uh, it was all mono sound, so you would have them coming only through here. Wow! So all right, now you're making, now you're teaching me because I am getting a sense of how you are anticipating true song. Yeah. Okay, so now fast forward a little to that moment I saw you for the first time when you're beating up this guy on Mortal Kombat. It's like a fighting game. It is. So then how do you know when you to punch that you're punching him and that you're blocking him? Like I, You have to appreciate that I'm an old person <laughs> and I'm completely ignorant even though I can see what's happening. But I saw that you were doing all the moves. How did you learn those moves? Um, so a lot of what I learned, because you have to take into consideration that a lot of these games don't natively speak via the screen reader. A lot of them oh. takes entirety of days, hours, weeks, even months of trying to memorize these menus. Uh, in fact, a lot of blind people don't do this because a lot of them don't have the patience to, or a lot of them don't. You know, a lot of them have lives outside of video games. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> I uh, I am one of the unfortunate few who have to <laughs> who have to go through the entire process. But you fell in love with it. Yes, I I did, uh, and it was honestly very worth it. It was it was a labor that I had to actually do, and it was it was very much worth it. I had to memorize the menus. I have to memorize which characters are, uh, I'm, I'm going to. Um, Maybe it does help a little because with Mortal Kombat, as you select the character, you know who you selected because it says the character. Uh -huh. But you know, uh, before that, you have to memorize things, uh, and that's that's a little bit more harder to do. Uh, and, and 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 by by golly, trust me, if I'm old, I won't remember any of this. Yes. Scorpion win.